Milbrega's Regalia is another set that got a bit of a boost with the release of 2.4 through improvement to its global set modifiers, which definitely moves my opinion of it up as a whole, but still it isn't a full set that I would seek out unless I wanted to run with that blue aesthetic as a lowish level character. This is because the set has some decent global mods, but doesn't quite hit that wow factor other less class specific sets tend to have for focusing down into a specific niche. With a plus paladin skill kind of setup, it's pretty obviously a paladin set, though the rest of its mods are generally useful for anyone with plus attack rating, dual leech, and poison resist, along with 2.4 adding lightning damage at 2 parts and cannot be frozen at 3 parts. The downside is, at level 17 when you can actually start to use this set, you'll see a lot more competition in these regards and there are a handful of ways to get cannot be frozen by this level now too. In the individual parts we can find a little bit of utility as long as you temper your expectations. For example, the shield is an okay low level magic find shield until you can reach level 29 and use something like a rhyme, and its partial set bonuses are not terrible either with 50 life at 2 parts at least, and a percent defense bump at 3 parts. Similarly, the helmet may only have 15 life and mana at the base, but with any other part of the set it adds a chunky 40% cold resist which is pretty solid, and while it's not as good as something like Erotha's, it is a lot more common, so you're more likely to stumble on this than some of the other parts. On the more lackluster end we have Milabrega's robe, the ancient armor which seems dinky with its base stats only providing a tiny pinch of damage reduction and damage reflection, though again at 2 parts it gets a fairly significant bump to defense in percent form, which would be pretty nice in terms of upgrade to exceptional if it wasn't for the somewhat gross strength requirements of the upgraded version requiring a whopping 170 strength, though it would get you up to about the 800 to 900 defense range with two parts equipped. Lastly, we have Milabrega's Rod, the weapon, somewhat middling damage without the full set's lightning bonus, but it does come with plus paladin skills and is a percent scaling for damage, but it doesn't have any partial bonuses to speak of, so it can be okay if you want plus skills a little early, but you're usually better off with a stronger and faster weapon for melee builds, or a focused plus skill scepter from merchants since the paladin is generally not a high variety skill user like the necromancer or druid. So these plus skills to all are a little less potent on him, sense you usually just want one or two skills boosted. In terms of upgrading on the set, the upgrade to exceptional can be okay on the shield, armor, and weapon, but generally speaking you won't want to burn those resources for various reasons, such as the strength requirement on upgrading to an ornate plate, or that you can find better boosts in budget rune words around the time you're reaching nightmare difficulty so it kind of makes upgrading the scepter and shield a bit superfluous compared to these. Overall, the set is not bad, it just isn't amazing, so it's another normal difficulty set that tends to get bumped out by low and mid level rune words fairly quickly after getting equipped, since it doesn't really have any specialist appeal. If only it had either some attack rating boost or the scepter got some random plus two specific skills, and by attack rating boost I mean scaling ones, not just a flat amount, I think it would be able to get bumped up over the edge, but for now not so much. Heck, it's not even the best blue themed set in my opinion though we will get to see which one I think is later on. Anywho, do you ever use Milabregas for anything? Maybe some early plus skills or getting that low level magic find for the holy grails while unlocking stuff on your mules? Mention it down below and as always a big thanks to the players who throw a coin to the tube or over on Patreon or through the memberships here on YouTube, it helps keep uploading possible.